Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now. Um, I'm gonna use uh, 80 grit stick it paper on my block. Okay, when you're blocking this out, we have a contour that it kind of goes up this way. And there's a slight contour going this way. I'm gonna keep my block and I'm gonna cross hatch. Just like that, we'll go diagonal, and we'll go diagonal this way. And I'm gonna stay right on top of it. You see my block is longer than my repaired area. So it'll be really simple to block this out. Switch up your direction every once in a while. Okay, you see this bare metal spot coming through? That means it's high. We're going to have to tap that down a little bit. But this edge right here still is, it feels pretty fat, so I'm going to hit that edge. It's a little high here. It's a little high here. And if you feel it, when you run your hand across this, if you feel anything at all, then when you paint and clear coat that, it's gonna look like crap. So you gotta keep working until you can't feel nothing, until it's just smooth. Any little thing you feel is gonna show up. Especially if you're painting something black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm going to tap these areas down. You get all the dust out of there. Okay, now we've waited about ten minutes. That's the second coat right there. Now we're going to hit that with the 80 grit, and then uh, we're going to switch to 180 after we get this knocked down a little bit. Okay, and you want to kind of feel it while you're doing it now because it's going to get closer and closer I'm going to switch to uh, 180 and I'm going to get rid of these 80 scratches ok 
Okay, I'm gonna do my cross hatch pattern. Okay, you wanna make sure it feels really good and you can't feel any ups or downs in it. You wanna go this way. Then you can hit it this way. Go straight across. Feels a little funny right here. So I'm gonna come over to this other side. You don't want to put a lot of pressure. You don't want to dig into it that much. Especially if you're close. What you would do now is you would get etch primer and you would prime all the bare metal areas. And then you would get regular primer and you would extend your laps um, as far as your scratches go. Anywhere your scratches are, you want to you definitely get those with primer. Um, if your primer, if you read on your primer, um, and you can apply that to bare metal, uh, like it works as a etching primer, then uh, great, you know, then you can just go ahead and apply the primer right on top of this. You don't want to get the etch primer too much on your body filler because most etch primers don't like they don't adhere very well to, to body filler um, but your regular 2k primers of course you know that's what it's for okay when i say 2k primer that means two parts it's the primer and you have a hardener or activator um, sometimes this will be another little can this is good stuff. You spray it out of a spray gun. Don't use the rattle can stuff. It's garbage. Uh, especially, you know, if you're not that great at body work. Uh, this kind of helps out with the leveling process. It's high build. Uh, not necessarily this brand. There's all kinds of brands if you go to your paint store. Uh, just have, you know, they'll tell you what's good. But um, anyway, I definitely recommend 2K Primer. That's how you work filler. And we'll see you uh, probably next week.